Hey guys, welcome to our review of Ultraman Z, episode 18. I'm your host, Cinder Blaze. With me today we have... The Frozen Strato. I'm Aerosol. Alright, well let's jump into this. This episode <laughs> sucked. Ah <laughs> 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 oh, man, like I, I didn't really expect to dislike it as much as I did. I know that they were referencing uh, a previous Ultraman episode, like the second they said... 54 years just like okay it's got to be referencing something but none of us are <laughs> that old to know what it is exactly yeah that um, is the 50 54 is far too specific of a number <laughs> to be anything but a, a really dated reference to something else but yeah uh thankfully aerosol came in with the facts uh, yeah i i had i had looked it up beforehand because I was curious, because this episode, the preview, um, <clears throat> reminded me a lot of an old Ultraman episode. And I decided to look it up and found out, oh, it's because that episode was kind of playing off of an Ultra Q episode. So, yeah. Mm. Mm, um, yeah. In that regard, I like this episode. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, <laughs> I... I kind of dig the sort of low energy, creepy vibe that some of the older series had sure. every so often. So I kind of like that here. Um, it like... is it is a slower, more like kind of <laughs> odd pace, though. So I understand like not really digging it, especially since it's so out of line with everything else that Zed is doing. Yeah. That it's, you know, it's clear that they they looked at that episode and went, that is 2020 in the title. That's this year. We can do that. (laughs) And then did it. (laughs) No, like in the writer's room, it was just like, like when they wrote the original episode 54 years ago, they wrote a note on the fridge. And it was like, 2020, (laughs) here's the script. (laughs) Whatever Ultraman's for, just do it. (laughs) Unfortunately, it's for this game. Like for me, like... I, I kind of like the idea, like the whole plot of the episode. I thought that was like relatively solid, especially for the series. But I think that like, uh, like Haruki and like the chick didn't really like pull it off as well as I wanted it to, and it kind of fell flat for me. Not like like completely on his face, but just kind of like ah, just fell down on his butt and just like eh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wish we could do I mean, better, but I I. I gotta be honest, I don't know why you're coming down so hard on this episode, Alex. It was fine. <laughs> like, and, like, I I appreciate the, uh, the commitment to, I don't know if it's finishing a story, or at least, like, making a relevant, uh, uh, I guess, reference to an older story. Um, and I, I thought it was... honestly, I don't know how often Ultra Q gets referenced because it's not an Ultraman series. It's just in because oh. there's no Ultraman in it. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Ultraman came second. <laughs> yeah, like how does it's... this work exactly? <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> It's so ancient that we didn't even know it existed, basically. I mean, the only reason I know I knew Ultra Q was like sort of first for whatever reason. I just thought it meant for like when I heard it talked about, I thought it just meant first chronologically in terms of like continuity. But it is just like the actual first thing that was ever made for Ultra. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cuz I like I don't know uh, if you guys saw it go up on the Subaraya channel, but it was a breakdown of the, uh, like, a few of the references in the new Ultraman Marvel comic. Hmm. And it, it had that little tidbit of Ultra Q being in there. And I didn't know what the heck was going on, so I just, you know, sort of <laughs> glossed over it. Um, but I, like, I, to me, I got the same sort of, um, Man, I should be stoked about this that I did get from uh, Go Kaiger whenever they showed a season that I had never seen or never heard of at all. 
I was like, oh yeah, that must mean something very cool, and I appreciate that they did something. Yeah, I and mean... I, I, I thought it was fine. And Ultraman Z isn't doing nearly anything with its plot, so it's like, <laughs> you derailed nothing to do something interesting for someone else, and I appreciate it. Yeah, but it's also the kind of thing where we're just, like, running out of time, and, like, I get that, like, making these homage episodes are kind of nice and stuff, but, like, if it was, like, taking a break from, like, the plot to do something like this, I think I would have been... I would have appreciated it a little bit more, or it wouldn't have been, like, as, like, you know... Not pissed off, because I'm not, like, angry at the episode, yeah. but, like, kind of disappointed, because I'm just, like, we're episode 18, and, you know... It we feels don't like even... not a lot of it has gotten done yet. <laughs> yeah, like, we still haven't done much. It's, like, only when Jade comes... Do we actually get <laughs> stuff done? And he's only been in like three or four episodes, so it like that's kind of where I'm just like, uh, I get it's like kind of like trying to reference as many Ultraman series as possible. It would have been like if we were gonna make the comparison to Go Kaiger, it would have been a little bit better if um, Ultraman Z was actually interacting with the previous Ultraman a little bit more. Uh, even when like Jeed comes by, it's more Haruki and. Um, Riku who are interacting as opposed to like I mean like for Riku he is G so it doesn't really matter but um instead of like Zet and G you know it's not like the same kind of um well I mean like, here's the thing you like, have to like, have two characters interact Zet is not a character he's just a dude that hangs out in a square sometimes and shows up all big in the city he does he I yeah I fail to see him having any character and like if you've gone 18 episodes long without sort of developing him too much then like i don't see them doing it whatsoever yeah i hate to say it like but that is this is a very like by the book basics <laughs> sort of Ultraman because mm -hmm. it's very similar to the original ones very similar to X which I've mentioned in the past and the Ultraman in those series just aren't characters they don't oh. do anything <laughs> like it's it is really just the human side of things and you get plot every so often but not a lot yeah unfortunately think... that's kind of like a standard for a lot of Probably more the older ones than the newer ones, because the newer stuff that I've seen kind of bucks that trend. But mm -hmm. I guess Zed wanted to go back to that and, you know, try it again. And, it, <laughs> you know, I think we were all expecting a little bit more. Sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm, I still enjoy it week to week. I guess it's just fresh enough for me to where I, I don't like I'm not jaded enough about it. To, to really come down too hard on it, you know, not being a bit more serialized or whatever. It's just, you know, my only sticking point is just Zet not having a character. Everything else is perfectly fine for me. Yeah. Like, I like all the other characters, and I like... I'm fine with not having a plot. I watched... I watched... Uh, uh, what is it? Soldier. Free soldier and had a wonderful time. <laughs> so, yeah, I think like just because it's having so many of these types of episodes where they reference the older Ultraman, and then like, like there's not, it doesn't feel like there's as much value as there could be. It's more like, I guess it's more like disappointment rather than just like me like hating the episode or thinking it's bad. It's more like it just didn't live up to the expectations I would have of these episodes. Almost. I mean, like, because uh. like. Going into Zet, everyone was, like, super hyped about it. And then when I saw it, I was like, oh, yeah, that was fine. But everyone else seems to like it a lot, so I'll just go with it. I, I've just been having a fine experience all the way through, and this did not change my perspective at all. All right. Well, those are my thoughts for the episode. So <laughs> do you guys have any final things to chew out? Um... No, like I said, I like the vibe of the episode. I kind of like that that sort of tone, but it's it's not a plot episode. It's not. It's something you could easily skip and be fine 
<laughs> with, you know, uh, is what it is, sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Um, do you have the comments rolling up on the screen? I do. All right. Which one are we starting with first? Extras? We are st- yes, we are. All right. Uh, this comment comes from Extra. They have Celebro change bodies last week, and they do literally nothing with that this episode. I don't see how they can possibly make him an interesting villain at this rate. Really missing Aizen right about now. I miss Aizen probably one or two episodes after he left in Rube. So, yeah, <laughs> that's been yeah. a very that, that's been a thing for a long while. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, heroic gangster. All right, modern Ultra Hell is worried about wasted episodes in a 24 episode series but to me this episode is like episode three that american dude episode to me where it is an isolated antics being done in an interesting way and just like episodes in ultraman where it gives us a view on the city people and how they intertwine with the conflicts caused by the kaiju slash aliens hmm. i feel like even though like this was like a civilian problem they did show like a lot of like shots of like what it was doing to the people because we didn't like really stick with like anyone besides the one who's causing it we didn't really see too much on that side, but I guess they wanted to focus on one thing, and I think they did pretty well. Like, I'm not going to bash that part of it too much. Mm. It kind of, like, come out of, like, nowhere. It's like, ah, kill me. I'm just it like, come out I... of nowhere like a giant lady out of an alien. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that scene was glorious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like uh, Zet and Haruki just kind of like confused. It's like, what to do? And then she's like, oh my god, let me just get out of here myself. <laughs> I like, I was worried at that moment that they were gonna like take a dark turn and he'd have to murder her just to kill the alien, but she survived and I was happy. Like, they would I, or Belial would? I mean, Belial was Belial. like all up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he's down to kill. Yeah. He can cut it. He, he can cut yeah. it. <laughs> I'm also I'm also like sort of done with Haruki having to make the tough choice. You could just kill things now. I don't I don't need a I don't need a uh, moral dilemma from you any longer. <laughs> yeah, this is one of these episodes. Zet's just gonna break down. Just be like Haruki. I'm tired of dealing with this bullshit. <laughs> like, <laughs> I have all this power for one reason. It's to kick some fucking ass and build a name for myself. Can you please, can you please just kill the enemy? <laughs> 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 all right. Well, that's that's it from us. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check our description down below. We got a little playlist that has... Uh, whose ad revenue helps support the BLM movement. And if you check it out, that'd be awesome. All right. Keep it juicy. Oh, keep it. Keep, keep, keep it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I remember that I wasn't supposed to say that, but I've already committed, so I was just like... Mm. I mean, you can. No one's stopping you. I didn't say you couldn't say it. I'm just get, yeah. still going to press it. Well, I, I still study it, so... Yeah. <laughs> But our timing was off, so... Yeah. Alright.